Right, so let's look at uh, the case of a CSTR with first order kinetics. So this is a quick schematic of a CSTR. It's got a feed rate Q, volumetric feed rate in meters cubed per second, and that feed contains our starting material A at a concentration of CA0 moles per cubic meter. So the reactor has a volume of V cubic meters and we've got an outlet flow of Q meters cubed per second. So the outlet flow is the same as the inlet flow because um, we're assuming it's a constant density system and the outlet has a concentration CA of our starting material A as in moles per cubic meter again and the because uh, the assumption we made last time was that, that this is well mixed the concentration CA in the outlet uh, is the same uh, as the concentration at any point in the reactor and the equation that was derived to describe this system was minus RA, where RA is the reaction rate of our starting material A, is equal to Q over V multiplied by CA0 minus CA. And if we have first order kinetics, then RA is equal to minus K times CA, so it's minus because uh, A is being consumed by the reaction, so our reaction rate of A is, is negative. That's K times CA, where K is the kinetic rate constant, uh, and because it's first order, that will have units of seconds to the minus one. So then all we need to do is to substitute for RA in uh, this top equation here and we get that um, KCA, so we've got we've got uh, minus RA but RA is minus KCA so the two minus signs cancel each other out and with plus KCA is equal to Q over V multiplied by CA naught minus CA. And uh, if, if we're doing a design calculation and we want to calculate uh, the volume required, then we get that V is equal to K uh, is equal to Q over KCA multiplied by CA naught minus CA. Um, we can just collect the concentration terms together uh, and that gives us Q over K multiplied by CA naught over CA minus 1. And that's um, the simplest form for calculating the um, volume required for a given outlet concentration CA uh, from a starting concentration of CA0 with a known kinetic rate constant and a volumetric flow rate. You can um, divide, d define uh, a new parameter which is V over Q uh, and that is um, equal to T bar which is uh, which is actually called a the space time or commonly referred to as the uh, residence time, more correctly the mean residence time, uh, and that's got units of time, seconds, and it's the time required to process one reactor volume of uh, a feed rate, and, and it's, it's, it's a term that's, that's used widely to characterize uh, a CSTR. Um, so you can bring the Q over here uh, from that equation and you get that V over Q which is equal to T bar 
is equal to 1 over k multiplied by ca0 over ca minus 1. Uh, that's just another f uh, another form of the of the same equation, but it's it's using this uh, residence time parameter, which is um, a, a, a characteristic quantity of a, a, a CSTR.